So today we're here again to share your experience, um, activities and booth in the Cisco Live Dev Net Zone. And it's really great to have Roma, you and your team here to collaborate with us DevNet um, in this really interactive design thinking activity and user research activity. Yeah, no, thank you. Thank you, Casey. You know, uh, we've been doing this for a good four years as uh, product PUs. And everything that we do here uh, really enhances the experience of our products. So it's been a pleasure to work together. Um, it's amazing to see how customers want to come and engage with us year by year. So thank you, this has been really good. For sure, and <laughs> we always see returning customer as well. Correct. The, the fact that, you know, I think yesterday, right, we were at the booth and then someone actually came back in, they see something like this. They're like, oh, I remember this. Did I actually see it yesterday? No, not yesterday. Did I actually see it last year in right. DevNet Zone? And then we're like, oh yeah, you remember us. And he's particularly remember our staff team as well and ask about us, right? That's correct. Yeah, it was amazing. In fact, he remembered remembered the activity he did, mm -hmm. and um, he was curious, like, where did this go? Can I know more about how did you use my data? So it was amazing to talk about that. Um, I know we sometimes do a very product-related activities, and sometimes we do more generic, but this was one of those activities where we were doing a product-related activity. Something as simple as, hey, you know, what should my navigation look like? Icon, icon text. Um, I think out of what, we spoke to about 100 customers yeah. and 80, 85 plus liked icon text. I mean, it was a clear winner. Mm -hmm. It really helped define our products. This is something that we actually took it back to the framework team and many, many teams across Cisco would be using this. So this is so awesome. I mean, it completely validates the thought and gets us the right stuff. Yeah. And that's really amazing you know, for a fact that with the feedback that they are capturing, we're capturing and analyzing, and we're actually helping to create this really consistent experience throughout Cisco product, Cisco product APIs, which is actually what our customer has been actively asking for. Asking. Every time in Cisco Live, like we showcase all the portfolio, the products, like how are we have different GUI, different APIs. That's like the one of the biggest asks. Like, hey, like can we have a more consistent platform, consistent user experience across all the products? And we're here collaborating with the business unit like you guys, as well as like Meraki, Catalyst Center, Collab Security. It's been a really long ongoing collaboration with all the teams and it's been really great to see customers coming to us, having that enthusiasm and share that feedback with us. That's true. Like I think I, I totally like what we are doing this time too. Mm -hmm. So not only we focus on the current product, but also we are looking at you know the futuristic uh, market mm -hmm. and use cases that we want to do. I mean, you know, yeah. we're talking about the AI use cases that they want to use in their networking domain. Mm -hmm. uh, so I actually represent uh, service provider and data center. So, so you know, basically Cisco networking. And it's great to hear back from them that how would they want to use AI, mm -hmm. which, is, which is out there, I know. Yeah. But uh, how would they want to use if they had to use and uh, for future? And it's awesome to see. We are kind of hearing the same thing, whether it's, you know, Cisco Catalyst versus ACI or any products within yep. Cisco. So there is so much alignment across products mm -hmm. on these kind of uh, initiatives. So I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to see how, what comes out of this whole thing. Yeah, and it, especially there's this like empathy side of things too, right? Like I think with this AI topic, everyone is talking about it. There are different feelings about it. Exactly. People are excited, people are curious, some of them are nervous. What is, where is AI going? And yeah. you know, within Cisco, we're also working on different POC to leverage AI to really help our customer. So getting those use cases, how they want us to use AI or how they see themselves using AI really help us to build both better products and developer experience for them Definitely. as well. Definitely, I think the next whole year or a couple of years is all going to be about AI. So all this uh, data is going to be a direct feed to our products. And um, yeah, and it's awesome to see that it's going to be like across products. Yeah, and we've been re like transforming the topic of interest, the research topics throughout many years. And you know, throughout these activities, our technical experts are also here to connect with the customer. So this share your experience um, is really enabler 
for us to connect with customer and build this ongoing relationship. So with that, um, I really look forward to our next collaboration. And thank you very much, oh. Roma, and your team for joining us to be here oh, in Cisco Thank Life. you for having us. I hope you can keep doing this. For sure. Thank you. Thanks.